All right, welcome back, 722. It's kind of a canine theme. The dog days of summer wrapping up, and next week is National Dog Week. But as you know, if you have a pet, boy, it's a huge responsibility, and dogs need order and leadership. And they're looking to you as the master. Hey, here with some tips on being a responsible dog owner, we have the lovely Richard and Vicki Horowitz here with who let the dogs out? Bark Busters. I like are the here. theme. I yes. like the theme. Very, Very good. good. Theme. All right. Nice who are you going to call? Bark Busters, Thank right? That's Absolutely. right. That's All right. Nice. We have these beauties here. Who do we have first? Let's introduce these uh, nice, nice dogs. This is Jack. He's a rescue, about right two years old. Yeah. And this is Anna, also a rescue. Sweet. And they're very fortunate that they have wonderful, responsible dog owners. That is important, That's, right? Yes. I mean, sometimes people, they, and I do the Pet of the Week segment a lot, and people may want to hurry up, run out, and get a dog, but there's a, there's a little more into it. There's a yeah. lot, a lot of responsibility. Yeah. And what are some of the main things? I believe we, uh, well, first we want to kind of show uh, how you rescued these dogs. I mean, where are they from originally? Tennessee. Tennessee. And look yep. at that great shot right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, and. What are some of the points now that you want to get across? Because I want to get the most we can out of the limited time we have. Right. Uh, what are some of the first things people need to think about? They should pick a vet that yeah. they okay. feel comfortable Helpful. with and take the dogs to the vet on an annual basis or if there's any problems. They should have a good rapport with the vet. And they should also make sure, and a lot of rescue dogs are already spayed and neutered, but spaying and neutered is extremely important for the health of the dogs. Okay, so you highly recommend that. And then it says provide a proper ID. ID. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have identification with their name, their address. You want to make sure also they're all up to date on their shots and they're wearing their tags. And if they could be microchipped or identified some other way, so if they get lost, that they could be returned now, back home. for people maybe, and, and I'm one of them, you don't really understand the microchip thing. Does that hurt the dog? A lot of people ask that when I hear that no. topic come up. No, it's no. very, it's very quick and easy. It is. It's, huh? yeah. you, it's like you a little recommend booster. that yes. as well? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? And how does that work? If the dog gets located once it's gone and lost, they, can go they to, ID where the yeah, owner is? Yeah, they can. Uh, there's a microchip reader that checks in, yeah, and they certain, can identify. Certain vet offices and places have those so they can bring it in and have the dog. Animal shelters different. have them. That's great. And the other item on there was to get to know your dog. What are some right. of the things that you want to look for? And, and yep. you know, other than the, maybe the bad items, but yep. there are good things too, yes. right? To get to know your dog, you want to make sure you start to. Training is very important, and okay. that's what we were doing before we brought the, the dogs in. I Saw you. Very, it's, very, awesome. it's very important that dogs understand that their owners are the leaders and the ones that determine the rules. And so you want to make sure that you give them training by making them sit, come, and stay so that they have good manners, that they know how to behave, whether they're inside the house or outside the house. Okay. And then you also want to make sure that they get, so they get the training, they get physical exercise, and that you get them and take them for runs or you play ball with them. And also people don't realize that you really have to play with your dog and give your dog attention every day. So you need to budget some time in yes. here as well. Yes. I mean, uh, all of us are busy all the time, right. but it's kind of like having another child. I mean, yes. there is a time and dedication involved. And right. training only has to take about 15 minutes a day. So you mix that in with your daily routine, you have them sit before you put their food down, have them sit before you go out the door, you know, call them to you. That's right. all part of training and mentally tires the dogs. That's wonderful. Any uh, anything that you could maybe show us today with with these? Well, boys actually, here? they're really being I mean, well behaved right now. <laughs> yes, we, we, I don't know if you gave them medicine on the no, way. No, no medicine. Well, Barkbusters doesn't Bark believe Busters in the medication. Is the medicine, yeah. right? <laughs> Very important when you take them to when you take Look them to this. new places. When you take them to new places, you want to work them by making them sit, come, stay, sit, come, stay, because it makes them mentally tired. It makes them okay. feel comfortable in the new environment. Seeing cameras and wires moving and things, people, different people, it's very important that you make them comfortable with the situation by putting the leadership and in And there's place. a date coming up that uh, I know folks like you like to remind people, or maybe we can touch on some of the points. Halloween, when you yes. have people coming in, what do you recommend right. if someone just got a dog recently? Well, very good get point. them acclimated to costumes. Not all dogs like costumes. Okay. Halloween is probably the most fearful dog, holiday. fearful holiday okay. for dogs. Yes. Right, that's okay. probably 4th of July yes. with the yes. fireworks. Yes. Exactly. Right? Whether the candy, the toxicity of all the candy they can get exposed to. If they're very, if they're fearful dogs, you keep them in another room. Put them in a, if they, if you have a crate or another place for them to be to make them feel safe and secure. Those are the best things to do for Halloween too. You want your dog to be comfortable. Don't take them out trick or treating with you when you have all these people running around screaming. Right, it's right. Very so alarming. Right. right, it might be good to avoid the situation, right. even if you're hosting. 
with the kids coming over, maybe put, put the them dog in, a in different the basement room, right. or another have someone room. just hang out with the yeah. dog. Yes, have another, another person room. hang out with that the dog. That would be great. And quickly, we're kind of running out of time. The great thing about rescue dogs and helping out that way. It, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say, it's just a wonderful thing to bring, have people have homes where they can be taken care of and loved. Mostly dogs are not given up necessarily because of behavior problems. They're given up because of financial reasons right. or relocation and they can't take dogs and with them. And they need love. And they need they love and love. attention and that's all they need. And it doesn't matter whether it's a big dog or a small dog. And who are you going to call? Call Barkbusters. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful to see Thank you. Thank you very Thank nice Thanks you. a lot. Thank and you. what a couple of oh, lovers here. Anna's had enough. Oh, that's it. The segment's over. The dogs are gone. <laughs> hey, WTNH.com for Thank more you. information on Barkbusters.